The House of Wangchuk Tibetan, Wiley, D. Bang has ruled Bhutan since it was reunified in 1907. Prior to reunification, the Wangchuk family had governed the district of Trongsa as descendants of Dunkar Choji. They eventually overpowered other regional lords and earned the favour of the British Empire. After consolidating power, the 12th Penlop of Trongsa Gongsar Yuyen Wangchuk was elected Druk Gyalpo, Dragon King, thus founding the royal house. The position of Druk Gyalpo is more commonly known in English as King of Bhutan. The Wangchuk dynasty ruled government power in Bhutan and established relations with the British Empire and India under its first two monarchs. The third, fourth, and fifth current monarchs have put the kingdom on its path toward democratization, decentralization, and development. History There have been five Wangchuk kings of Bhutan, namely, Yuyen Wangchuk B. 1861d.1926, First King, reigned the 17th of December 1907 to the 21st of August 1926. Jigma Wangchuk B. 1905d.1952, Second King, R. the 21st of August 1926 to the 24th of March 1952. Jigma Dorji Wangchuk B. 1929d.1972, Third King, R. the 24th of March 1952 to the 24th of July 1972. Jigma Singi Wangchuk B.1955, Fourth King, R. the 24th of July 1972 to the 15th of December 2006. Jigma Kesar Namyel Wangchuk B.1980, Fifth King. R. The 14th of December 2006 present. The ascendancy of the House of Wangchuk is deeply rooted in the historical politics of Bhutan. Between 1616 and 1907, varying administrative, religious, and regional powers vied for control within Bhutan. During this period, factions were influenced and supported by Tibet and the British Empire. Ultimately, the hereditary Penlop of Trongsa, Yuyen Wangchuk, was elected the first Druk Gyalpo by an assembly of his subjects in 1907, marking the ascendancy of the House of Wangchuk. Origins <inaudible> 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 Under Bhutan's early theocratic Tibetan dual system of government, decreasingly effective central government control resulted in the de facto disintegration of the office of Shabdrung after the death of Shabdrung Nawang Namgyal in 1651. Under the dual system of the government, Desi or the temporal rulers took control of civil administration and Jakenpos took control of religious affairs. Two successor Shabdrungs, the son 1651 and stepbrother 1680 of Nawang Namgyal, were effectively controlled by the Druk Desi and Jakenpo until power was further splintered through the innovation of multiple Shabdrung incarnations, reflecting speech, mind, and body. Increasingly secular regional lords Penlops and Zongpons competed for power amid a backdrop of civil war over the Shabdrung and invasions from Tibet, and the Mongol Empire. The Penlops of Trongsa and Paro, and the Zongpons of Punaka, Tempu, and Wangdu Fodrang were particularly notable figures in the competition for regional dominance. Chogil Minjur Tenpa, 1613 1680, R. 1667 1680, was the first Penlop of Trongsa, Tongsub, appointed by Shabdrung Nawang Namgyal. He was born Dum Cholan Drub in Min Chud, Tibet, and led a monastic life from childhood. Before his appointment as Tongsub, he held the appointed post of Umzi chant master. A trusted follower of the Shabdrung, Minjur Tenpa was sent to subdue kings of Bumthang, El Huntsi, Trashigang, Jemgang, and other lords from Trongsa Dizong. After doing so, the Tongsub divided his control in the east among eight regions Shasho Korlo Sagay, overseen by Dungpas and Kutshabs civil servants. He went on to build Jakar, El Huntsi, Trashigang, and Jemgang D. Zongs. Within this political landscape, the Wangchuk family originated in the Bumthang region of central Bhutan. The family belongs to the Nyo clan, and is descended from Pema Lingpa, a Bhutanese Nyingmapa saint. The Nyo clan emerged as a local aristocracy, supplanting many older aristocratic families of Tibetan origin that sided with Tibet during invasions of Bhutan. 
In doing so, the clan came to occupy the hereditary position of Penlop of Trongsa, as well as significant national and local government positions. The Penlop of Trongsa managed central Bhutan, the rival Penlop of Paro controlled western Bhutan, and Zongpans controlled areas surrounding their respective D Zongs. The Penlop of Paro, unlike Trongsa, was an office appointed by the Druk Desi's central government. Because western regions controlled by the Penlop of Paro contained lucrative trade routes, it became the object of competition among aristocratic families. Although Bhutan generally enjoyed favorable relations with both Tibet and British India through the 19th century, extension of British power at Bhutan's borders as well as Tibetan incursions in British Sikkim defined politically opposed pro Tibet and pro Britain forces. This period of intense rivalry between and within Western and Central Bhutan, coupled with external forces from Tibet and especially the British Empire, provided the conditions for the ascendancy of the Penlop of Trongsa. After the Duar War with Britain 1864 as well as substantial territorial losses Kuch Behar 1835, Assam Duars 1841, armed conflict turned inward. In 1870, amid the continuing civil wars, the 10th Penlop of Trongsa, Jigma Namgyal ascended to the office of 48th Druk Desi. In 1879, he appointed his 17-year-old son Yuyen Wangchuk as the 23th Penlop of Paro. Jigma Namgyal reigned through his death 1881, punctuated by periods of retirement during which he retained effective control of the country. The pro Britain Penlop Yuyen Wangchuk ultimately prevailed against the pro Tibet and anti Britain Penlop of Paro after a series of civil wars and rebellions between 1882 and 1885. After his father's death in 1881, Yuyen Wangchuk entered a feud over the post of Penlop of Trongsa. In 1882, at the age of 20, he marched on Bumthang and Trongsa, winning the post of Penlop of Trongsa in addition to Paro. In 1885, Yuyen Wangchuk intervened in a conflict between the Zongpens of Punaka and Tempu, sacking both sides and seizing Simtoka di Zong. From this time forward, the office of Desi became purely ceremonial. Topic. Nationhood under the Wangchuks Topic. The 12th Trongsa Penlop, Yuyen Wangchuk, firmly in power and advised by Kazi Yuyen Dorji, accompanied the British expedition to Tibet as an invaluable intermediary, earning his first British knighthood. Penlop Yuyen Wangchuk further garnered knighthood in the KCIE in 1905. Meanwhile, the last officially recognized Shabdrung and Druk Desi had died in 1903 and 1904, respectively. As a result, a power vacuum formed within the already dysfunctional dual system of government. Civil administration had fallen to the hands of Penlop Yuyen Wangchuk, and in November 1907 he was unanimously elected hereditary monarch by an assembly of the leading members of the clergy, officials, and aristocratic families. His ascendancy to the throne ended the traditional dual system of government in place for nearly 300 years. The title Penlop of Trongsa, or Penlop of Chatsi, another name for Trongsa, continued to be held by crown princes. As king of Bhutan, Yuyen Wangchuk secured the Treaty of Punaka, 1910, under which Britain guaranteed Bhutan's independence, granted Bhutanese royal government a stipend, and took control of Bhutanese foreign relations. After his coronation, Igen further merited the British Delhi Durbar Gold Medal in 1911, the Knight Commander of the Order of the Star of India in 1911, and the Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire in 1921. King Yuyen Wangchuk died in 1926. The reign of the second King Jigma Wangchuk was characterized by an increasingly powerful central government and the beginnings of infrastructure development. Bhutan also established its first diplomatic relations with India under the Bilateral Treaty of Friendship, largely patterned after the prior Treaty of Punaka. The third King Jigma Dorji Wangchuk ascended the throne at the age of 16, having been educated in England and India. During the reign of the third king, Bhutan began further political and legal reforms and started to open to the outside world. Notably, the third king was responsible for establishing a unicameral national assembly in 1953 and establishing relations with Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru in 1958. Under Jigma Dorji Wangchuk, Bhutan also modernized its legal codes. 
Democratization under the Wangchuks The third king died in 1972, and the raven crown passed to the 16-year-old Jigma Singhi Wangchuk. The fourth king was, like his father, educated in England and India, and had also attended Yuyen Wangchuk Academy at Satcham Chotan in Paro. Reigning until 2006, the fourth king was responsible for the development of the tourism industry, gross national happiness as a concept, and strides in democratization including the draft constitution of Bhutan. The later years of his reign, however, also marked the departure of Bhutanese refugees in the 1990s amid the government's Driglam Namza policy and citizenship laws that were overzealously enforced by some district officials. To the astonishment of the Bhutanese public, the fourth king announced his abdication in 2005 and retired in 2006, handing the crown to his son Jigma Kesar Namyel Wangchuk. Jigma Kesar Namyel Wangchuk assumed the throne as the fifth king in 2008 as the kingdom adopted its first democratic constitution. <laughs> Genealogy Below is an extended patrilineal genealogy of the House of Wangchuk through the present monarch. See also List of rulers of Bhutan History of Bhutan Politics of Bhutan Penlop of Trongsa Line of succession to the Bhutanese throne Notes Topic Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Baton's Royal Family Rao Online Retrieved 10 August 2011. Official site Official Facebook